to make a splash screen on your Android activity. So name your application. I am naming as splash screen. Click on next, then next, then choose empty activity, then next, then click on finish and wait for some time until it loads into Android Studio. So now it's done and go to your app directory and then rest directory and then layout directory and choose the activity main.xml and it is the XML file where you have to design your app or your splash screen. So at the right side if you can see your preview of XML file. So I am renaming it as linear layout and also the closing tags and keeping the ori orientation as vertical and also the background I have to put at drivable folder. I have two images here. One is background, one is logo. So I have to paste it into drivable folder. So the background image name is, uh, image name is uh, background. So just write that and use the text view. Okay. Now consider linear layout here and I'm keeping that linear layout with as match parent and height as 300 GP and okay so orientation I'm keeping orientation as vertical and putting a ID as L1 because I have to access it from backend and then inside it I'm creating an image view layout and keeping layout width and height as 200 dp both so and also putting the image source as drawable logo that is my logo name and keeping the layout margin top as 50 dp and layout gravity as center Then consider linear linear layout again and okay choose Android layout with as wrap content and layout height as 250 dp and again put a id on as I'm naming it as L2 as linear layout 2 so and again I have to put a layout margin top attribute as 75 dp and background as okay i don't need to consider any background here so uh, inside this linear layout i want to make a button to go into the next directory next activity and just declare a button layout here and Okay, 250 dB is enough on the screen and Okay, I think I made a mistake there and I should match it to parent size Linear layout, okay So No, you have to change the linear layout with as its parent size. So, okay, now it's done. So, give your button ID as I'm naming is as button sub and go to your Java directory and then select main activity dot class and declare linear layout variable here i am naming it as l1 and l2 and then declare button variable here i am naming it as button sub then you have to declare the animation 
variable and it is fully needed for your animated splash screen activity so i need to create animation up to down and down to up later still for now i just declaring that so inside on create just write this dot get support action bar dot height and it will hide your action bar that is the blue action bar and then write button sub equals to cast it to button and find viewer view by id and choose the id what you declared into the, your layout xml file and then again cast your linear layout inside l1 and l2 okay now it's done so now right up to down equals to animation utils dot load animation so just right here this here this means that this activity and then put a comma here and just write art dot anim dot up to down and it will show a red text now for now because we have not still declared the up to down and down to up external files so for now just write that and then you have to declare the linear layout animation and write l1 dot set animation and after l2 dot set animation yes up to down and down to up then write button sub dot set on click listener and you have to just intend that so that after clicking on the button user can go into the next activity okay i am creating a new intent here and intent i equals to new intent and main activity dot this that is your current java class file and then put a comma and just write this dot second activity okay i make some mistake there so to put second activity dot this so before that you have to create a second activity here okay i have to design my second activity just to show you i'm keeping a text view inside it and just naming it as second activity okay So now my second activity is created then click on the race directory and just create a new directory here and click on resource directory file and create a file here as down to up.xml right here translate android and then from y delta keep it as 0 percent p and okay and then click uh, right android from y delta and keep it as 100 percent p and just type android division and declare 800 here and copy the duration line because it will need it in some layout file and create another resource file and name it as up to down again you have to declare that translate under duration as 800 so android form delta minus 
hundred percent p and x delta is zero. So now create a resource file again and name it as fed in. So inside the set tag you just write alpha and then android from alpha put it as 0, 0.0 and android duration as 2000 and android to alpha put it as 1.0 and here write interpreter android interpreter and keep the value as android So keep it as Android Accelerate Interpolator and then copy that and create another layer pieces file name it as fade out. So just paste, paste it and just change the from alpha and to alpha 1.0 and 0.0. So you can see your layer pieces file and um, now I am going to run this. My whole design is ready. Click on OK. So my Android virtual device is loading. So Android Studio is basically loading its a big file and into this Android emulator, and it fully depends on your RAM size because it is too much slow in Android Studio. If you close Android Studio, and it will run faster than this. So you can see that it is too much laggy here so here is my app and you can see that animated splash screen is there and if you run it on your phone it will work properly so you can see that second activity after clicking so if you like this video please keep subscribing this youtube channel <laughs>